guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be doing a video over why and how i started my youtube channel i've been getting a lot of questions over how i started my youtube channel and like equipment i use and stuff like that so i figured i would just do a whole video over that um so that you guys who ever want to start a youtube channel can do that so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do like this video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel um and let's get started Okay, so to take you back to the very, very beginning of this whole journey is to tell you guys my major in college. Now, my major in college was called Converge Broadcast Media, and it was under this like umbrella of radio, television, and film. And first I wanted to go into radio, TV, and film, but that was more like movie production and behind the scenes of stuff um, and stuff like that. And so I worked a lot with cameras and editing and like stuff like that to make movies um, but then the, my first semester I found out about Converge Broadcast Media which is the sister of RTVF or radio television and film and it was more like in the title Converge Broadcast Media so broadcast as in TV um, but also all media and it was more so in front of the camera instead of behind the camera like radio television and film and both of them you could go in front of the camera but anyways not going to talk a lot about that I feel like I could start rambling about that but anyways so my major was Converge Broadcast Media um, all media but specifically a lot of people went into um, news reporting and becoming news anchors and stuff like that and so when I first went in I really really wanted to be a news anchor or a news reporter all of my life I've loved being on camera I've loved like shooting videos with my sisters um, maybe one day I'll be bold enough to post some of those but they're so embarrassing um, because one of my dreams was to be Chet Ubecha. If you don't know who Chet Ubecha is, he is the news anchor from Fairly Odd Parents. So I wanted to be female Chet Ubecha. And also, like, anytime anybody asked, I would say I want to be female Ryan Seacrest. Like, all through college, I wanted to be female Ryan Seacrest because I just wanted to talk, I wanted to host. Um, I just loved how he was did American Idol and he also had his own radio show and, like, just all the things that Ryan Seacrest did and does like i wanted to be all that except a female and so i really wanted to be a news anchor and be on camera and stuff like that so i did um news anchoring and i could put a picture up to show you guys and it was uh, North Texas TV so I would say this is Brittany Tamayo with NTTV News like I would always say that and end it and like do stuff like that but anyway so eventually I became a news anchor um, for North Texas TV and um, the reason that I am not a news anchor right now is because I was doing the news one time and I'm a very giggly person if you watch my channel you know I just giggle all the time and I was saying the story which was about I think like a murder or something that had happened near our campus or something like really crazy had happened I can't remember what it was um, but I had said what I needed to say and then all of a sudden it cut to the video and I didn't realize the video was short and I had messed up on some words that I had said before the video and so I started giggling and so then the video was short, it cuts back to me giggling, and the producer got so mad at me, and it was so embarrassing. <laughs> and I don't think they ever aired it. I think it was like pre-aired and they like didn't show it. Um, but yeah, I realized like I didn't wanna be a news anchor anymore because I'm a giggly person. And if I giggle on like national TV, then I'm gonna get so much hate mail. People are probably gonna wanna kill me, like so many different things. So I was like, eh, nope, don't wanna do that. So in the same major, because it is Converge Broadcast Media, I could do TV, I could do movies, I could do social media, I could do like any type of media really um, I could do. And so I was learning about all of those. And one of my classes was social media actually. And another class was um, video making. And one of the videos that we had to make was a vlog or like an advice video. And so, which was really cool, like, leaking back on, I'm like, I had the best major ever. So uh, we had to make a vlog, and my blog was about, um, I think it was like being a college student or something, and so I ended up making that video, and I presented it to the class. And because I really loved making 
videos and I guess we because we had the opportunity to make a YouTube video it kind of just sparked my interest so after that I was like I want to create more videos and I had already had like news packages and random stuff on my YouTube channel for school and so I started making videos on my wedding because Connor and I were already married but we were planning our ceremony um, and so I would make videos on um, how to plan a wedding which are terrible by the way <laughs> they're so bad you can still go and find me on YouTube and see those videos if you want they're terrible I recommend not watching them <laughs> um, but anyway so I was doing that but like I really didn't know a lot about wedding planning I was only like 20 years old I was doing it myself and so I felt like I don't know a lot about this I'm really just going along with the process and I don't know what I'm doing. So um, after like maybe the fifth video, I stopped doing the wedding videos, but I kept thinking like, I still really wanna make videos. Like I really love making videos and I love social media. So I wanted to do something on social media and make some kind of videos. So I was thinking, thinking, and I was sitting in my room and I first made another wedding video. And I just thought like this video sucks <laughs> like it just isn't good and I was like what is something that I know a lot about and I feel like I can tell other people about and so that's when I thought of the five things you should know before dating someone in the military and I really didn't plan that video at all like you guys who love that video and um, have learned so much from that video and found me through that video, like that is all by the grace of God because I feel like I just like wrote some notes down and then just word vomited. Um, and so that was the first video I made and I knew how to title it really well because my minor in college was also marketing. And so I knew how to market myself. I knew how to market like verbiage and words and stuff. And so I made that title and one because I feel like I titled it right within like the first day it got like a hundred views and during that time that was so many views and I think like maybe in the first day I got 10 subscribers which again was huge for me because my school YouTube channel that I would put um, like wedding videos on and just like school stuff the most subscribers I had was eight and so when I hit 10 subscribers, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> because I had never like reached that many and it was like such an accomplishment. And then again, I was hitting 100 views, 200 views, 300 views. Um, and it was funny because I remember each time I would hit like 100 or something, I would text Connor and be like, oh my gosh, I hit 100 views. Oh my gosh, I got 10 subscribers. Oh my gosh, I hit 300 views, like just all that. And it just like kept going and going and going. And as it kept growing, I just kept thinking, I need to make more videos. This is like what people want to hear because also my wedding videos were getting like no views and just like really sucked in general. So I feel like because there weren't a lot of military YouTubers and because people like you guys want to know about this stuff because we're all going through something really hard, um, it was just like a great topic. And so because of that, I was just like, okay, now like I need to channel my inner military wife and like tell the world what I know. And so that's what I did. I'm pretty sure my very first video was on an iPhone. So if you don't have any like video equipment, just know like, cameras right now are so amazing like you can just put your phone and you can even get like microphones and stuff to put on your phone camera so that audio can pick up better so I started out with my phone and then I got a camcorder because I realized I should probably like get something better and so I got the camcorder and then I got this camera so it was my first like flip camera and I got this camera off eBay and it's a refurbished camera and I believe it was only like a hundred to three. I can't. I can't remember. So I'm gonna say like a wide range, a um, hundred to like three hundred dollars. Um, but it was refurbished, and it was actually a really good camera. The only thing I didn't like about this camera, um, and also it's the Samsung NX Mini, um, is that it like did this like ch -ch -ch when it focused, and so you could hear that on the videos. Um, so if you've been following me for a really long time, you probably noticed the like crazy transitions of how like much better the camera quality has gotten which is amazing i don't know if you guys care about that stuff but i've noticed it a lot so yeah this is one of the cameras that i use and then i've used this camera but i don't often use it and it is the canon t3 rebel 
Um, so I use this. I don't often use this, but sometimes I do. I forget to because it sometimes gets lost. <laughs> um, and then the camera that I'm using right now is just my vlog camera, which is the Canon G7X Mark II. And a lot of vloggers use this, and so that's why I got this. It was a pretty penny though, so <laughs> um, if you're just starting out, I would not recommend getting this camera unless you have a lot of money, then by all means, get the camera. But those are the cameras that I use, so, um, but my point to that was that I started with an iPhone, and so you really can start with anything. And some other things, I am using a ring light, so if you want lit up videos, a ring light is amazing to have. Just some tips on being a YouTuber. Being a YouTuber is very hard. When you see YouTubers not making videos after like a week or like me not making a video after one week or two weeks it's because um, making a YouTube video is really time-consuming because first you have to think of a video and then you have to plan that video if you're sitting down um, blogs are usually like you know you can um, show people your day but really you have to plan what you're gonna do that day or you're just you know walking around doing nothing um, and so you have to plan what you're gonna do maybe what you're gonna say um, and then you have to sit down and then you have to film the video and sometimes the video sucks the first time and so then you have to film the video again and then you have to edit the video and editing in itself takes like a little bit of a process but editing is not too bad it's just the whole stuff before that and so it can be a little bit time consuming but honestly like it's so much fun having like a community of people um, who you don't know but you know you feel like you know and so that part is really cool but it does take a lot of time another thing that I would recommend if you are wanting to start a YouTube video is to think of a topic that you want to talk about I feel like a lot of people think that they can just start vlogging um, like you know showing people your everyday life and that they'll gain subscribers and I feel like there's a difference between wanting to make money and wanting to get subscribers because if you're doing it to make money like you probably shouldn't be doing it because youtubers don't make that much money but if you're doing it for subscribers to grow a community like that makes sense and if you're just vlogging and you're not doing anything like super interesting that people want to see or want to hear then you're not going to grow as a channel so um, I definitely recommend if you want to make a YouTube channel like talk about a specific topic on top of the vlogging so even if your channel is like super random like some channels have pranks and DIY and makeup all in the same channel like even if it's like that you're targeting people and so people want to watch that so just give them some advice give them something that they want to listen to and want to see and find your niche who do you want to target what do you want to talk about um, something kind of specific doesn't have to be too specific um, but it can be like military relationships like that's pretty specific <laughs> so that's another little tip and another tip that I feel like everyone hears but is so true is consistency because people want to to follow people who are making videos all the time like some people might follow you because you have really good videos and they're hoping that you post again um, but other people are like I'll just watch these few videos and then move on um, and not subscribe to your channel and so it's really important that you be consistent because then people are looking forward to your videos um, they want to subscribe to you because they know you're gonna put out good content um, and stuff like that and so being consistent especially at the beginning is so important because if you just put out one one video and then you wait a month to put out a new video and then a m another month people are gonna see that um, and they're gonna not subscribe to you because they know that you're very like crazy with your scheduling and stuff I know I personally have been so bad at consistency um, but hopefully I will get back on the consistency train and we will be all good <laughs> so yeah I feel like that's it for my video I feel like I shared how we started why I started um, and just some tips and stuff hopefully I'm not missing anything I feel like just along the way you evolve as a youtuber like if you look at my very first video there was such bad lighting <laughs> it was so bad quality and I just like wasn't as cute and I'm just cute now myself has evolved and I'm just proud of myself I still look like a 14 year old but that's okay <laughs> but I feel like you just evolve you have to learn um, and you grow so much and so just be patient with your channel if you're making one because you can't just be like automatically famous like after one video like that does happen but that can't happen to everyone so just be patient with your channel grow it in ways of getting better lighting better cameras um, good backgrounds like everything like that um, and you will be good to go so yeah anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any more questions on just my whole YouTube journey you can comment them down below and I will get a back to you I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day and the week and as always I will see you guys in my next video bye